My name is Trisha Zire, and this May I will be graduating from Edinburgh University. I have been studying online throughout my entire graduate program. I'm doing a dual degree in clinical mental health counseling and arts therapy. Yeah. Our program is 100% online. And because we're so flexible, we have some students who have, you know, compromised immune systems or who have medical needs that prevent them from going to a traditional school. We're catering to them because our program is mobile. It goes with them wherever they are. I knew that it would provide me with an opportunity to travel anywhere I wanted or stay anywhere I wanted. I was very prepared with the transitioning to telehealth because we had already practiced through Edinburgh. I wanted to make sure that students were able to participate in master's level education and to get this degree who had busy lives, who had children, who had jobs, who couldn't move, who had disabilities, who were in another country. When we first started, one of the challenges was to figure out how do you do art online? How do you make that a meaningful experience? Above all, I think we're not afraid to try new things. One of those things was when I came on board I was missing the art making, you know, process. And by just having the computer camera, you would see everybody's forehead. Like it, it would turn into a session of just foreheads. And so I kind of dug deeper and I found that we could access like secondary cameras and I could utilize both. I could toggle between the camera that's looking at my face as I'm talking and then switch over to a secondary camera kind of, you know, set up so it can just watch me do art. So when I would ask my students, like we're gonna create for example, a check-in as we come into class, I would switch cameras so that they would see that I'm engaging in the prompt myself. I think something that's really important to us here at Edinburgh is to build community. So we work really hard on trying to make sure that the online experience is more than just sitting doing classwork by yourself at home. When students first come into the program, we set them up with a mentor. Uh, so as a student who has already been in the program for a little while, they can help them figure out how to do things, to know who to ask for things. Another way that we build community is that we have our art therapy studio. So if you are on campus, you can come and work in the studio anytime. But we also provide it online. And the way the studio works is that we provide certain hours, certain days of the week that we are open. And it's just a place to go and make art together. It's open to the community. You can bring family, you can bring friends. We do that as a service. We don't get paid to do it. It's just a service that we do because we think it's important, particularly because uh, so many of our students are online. We want to have a space where we can all come together and just do something fun. I've learned how to be able to help individuals deal with schizophrenia and bipolar disorder and grief. I've learned how to be a better me. I feel more professional. I'm more aware of my network. I wanna give what I can and help however I can. What's probably most rewarding for me in teaching classes in this program is getting to know the students. We have students that are fresh out of their undergraduate and then we have students that are in their 80s. Uh, we have students that live on campus and then we have students in other countries. I love that students come in excited about the field of art therapy and that they are enthusiastic and have lots of energy that they're bringing to the field. And I can see that they're going to go out and do really good things in the world.